My name is Lenny Khan, and I am the founder and director of Baltimore Hunger Project. Baltimore Hunger Project is dedicated to eliminating weekend childhood hunger, and we focus on children who receive free breakfast and lunch Monday through Friday at school and go home on the weekend and oftentimes do not have enough food to sustain them. There's 114,000 students in the city and the county that could benefit from our services. So on an internal level, the issues are funding. Um, I believe we have people power and we have the space to do it, but how logistically do we do it? Right now we rely on our volunteers to come and pack the food. We could easily pack multiple days a week, perhaps multiple times a day. Um, but our food needs to be taken to the schools. And until we figure out that transportation piece, we are unable to take on all of those kids. Well, during COVID, we were at Pedonia International School. And every Friday for 68 weeks, we distributed food. We did fresh produce and eggs and bread and our food bags and laundry detergent, pretty much anything we could source in the community. As soon as the school shut down, our connection to the kids disappeared. So kids are anonymous to us. They're identified by the guidance counselors as the ones who are most in need. But they weren't going to school, so we couldn't feed them in the same way. Some of our schools, um, we brought the food bags to them, and certain teachers dropped things off at the kids' homes. It was, I think it was the third week in March, we went from our regular operations to quickly pivoting. So that Friday we showed up with all of our food bags, and we did nine locations in the county, twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays, providing food to the community. And then we dropped down to six locations. So for a total of 68 weeks, we fed 2,000 families every week. It was a crazy time, but we, I, didn't have time to, I didn't have time to sit down. It was the most powerful experience I have ever had. You know, doing what you're supposed to be doing. COVID exposed a whole lot of inequities. I don't think people realize how many kids relied on school for food, but also safety and mentorship and um, how many kids didn't have access to the internet or kids who didn't have a home to be in to even put a computer on and didn't want to show where they lived. I think that when you sit in a classroom and you're uniform or not uniform, everybody's the same. But the minute you walk out the door, we have no idea what goes on in a child's life.